Three years ago, a U of M law professor was falsely accused in a violent rape. This week, a judge says that man was defamed, and the alleged victim was ordered to pay him more than a million dollars. Fox News' Tom Lydon has the exclusive. Mr. Parisi? Francesco Parisi walked out of jail three years ago, his life in shambles. The U of M law school professor charged with raping a former lover and trying to run her over with his car. But the case against him would soon fall apart. Criminal charges dropped. And this week, vindication in the form of a nearly $1.2 million judgment against his accuser, Morgan Wright, in what may be the largest defamation judgment ever in Minnesota. Maybe it was a horror, a horror movie. Parisi fears the damage to his reputation is permanent. Even after charges were dropped, many of his law school students just assumed he was guilty. My enrollment has dropped by 50 percent. Some classes were canceled for no enrollment. And in the eyes of the Internet, he might as well have been convicted. Even though the charges were dropped, the fact that people that Google my name see professor accused of so many times. Judge Daniel Moreno was blistering in his decision, calling it an untruthful narrative crusade, finding the accusations were false and made with malice. False rape allegations are considered very, very rare. Studies putting the number between 1 and 5 percent, depending on whether you're talking about false memories or a fabrication. But this case could be a cautionary tale of all the things that could go wrong. Old allegations with no physical evidence, an alleged victim with her own agenda and a history of deception. It turned out that those allegations were all false. They were all lies. John Braun is Parisi's attorney who says the accusations began with a real estate venture between Parisi and Wright to partition his North Loop condo. The deal unraveled, the relationship soured. Just days after an appeals court upheld her eviction, Wright went to police telling detectives Parisi had anally raped her a year and a half earlier slamming her face into the floor, breaking three teeth, and damaging her colon. But there was no evidence of any kind. It seems like there were plenty of red flags here. There were plenty of red flags, and one officer at the uh, Minneapolis Police Department actually read the case that way and, and declined to pass it along for prosecution. Morgan Wright went back six months later, found herself another officer who didn't bother to read the old report, started all over again. And on three occasions, she accused Parisi of trying to run her over with his car in broad daylight, identical to allegations she made a decade earlier against an ex-husband. I mean, she did not even do the homework to see if I still own the car, the car I was trying to kill her with. Judge Moreno meticulously details a half dozen other fabrications. She lied about having a degree in music from Juilliard, about being a doctor and having other advanced degrees. She claimed her father was former U.N. Secretary General Dag Hammarskjöld, who was likely gay and died in a plane crash. She even adopted his name. And while Wright claims to be destitute and on disability, she lives in a luxury downtown condo and drives a Mercedes convertible. Hello, is this Morgan? When I reached her by phone, Wright declined to comment. Meanwhile, Parisi has lost speaking engagements and has become a pariah in his own profession. His personal life... A vacuum. I used to be the popular guy to invite at parties. I'm Italian, I bring the good wine, I, I'm cheerful. I don't get so many invitations. Parisi also made headlines in his native Italy. And as he sat in jail for three weeks, falsely accused, his mother passed away. His reputation buried with her. The tragedy of this is that your mother never got to hear your vindication. No. As the father of five daughters, Parisi says he supports the Me Too movement. Credible victims should be heard and believed, he says. And so, too, should the falsely accused. She's a serial Tom Lydon. victim who lies. Fox 9.